Hey guys, Rich here with Brotherhood Reviews, and we're going to talk about the second death of Kazuki Odin. Now, what I mean by the second death of Kazuki Odin, I mean Yamato's persona of Kazuki Odin will die at the end of Wano. Now, this is more so of a way of her letting go of that persona so she can fully in, involve herself in becoming a straw hat because with that persona lies a lot more responsibility uh, a lot more responsibility than just saying uh, I'm Kazuki Odin so now the pers let's talk about her persona of being Kazuki Odin she idolized Kazuki Odin from the moment she saw him in burning in the oil and read his journal. So therefore, she felt like somebody needed to pass on his mantle and continue on his dreams of opening up Wano and making sure Momonosuke was safe and was the one able to lead the Kazuki clan into the next era. Um, and it had to be him. So with her knowing the knowledge that she knew from the journal and the reasoning that uh, Momonosuke needed to survive, she, she uh, adapted to Persona to make sure when the time came, her, uh, him, Kazuki Odin, or also known as Yamato, could be there to help usher in the new era. Now, we were, we were never given details on everything that was said in the journal uh, through the flashback, but we, we do know from what Yamato said and from what Momonosuke said after finishing the journal that he has to survive. So I think um, Yamato pretty much adapted the persona of Kazuki Odin to help her uh, cope with the mental and physical abuse of Kaido and to help her uh, boost her confidence to um, keep her moving. Um, also, I want to, um, I guess that's pretty much it about the pers uh, Yamato's persona of being um, Kazuki Odin. Now, Yamato's actual persona for herself, she wants to be a honorable person she idolized the samurai um she idolized kazuki odin so and she also wants to travel the world um which is another reasoning of her wanting to go with the straw hats and a lot of people forget that just like jinbei um ace talked her talked about Luffy to her and she realized Luffy was the one that she needed to travel the seas with um, along with Jinbei when Jinbei was in prison with Ace and you know the conversations they had and you know Jinbei knew that he was the one so there's a lot of parallels I feel that people are overlooking when it comes to Yamato becoming a straw hat and being um, able to hold the mantle and just like everybody else um, um, my personal reasons why I believe Yamato would be a good fit for the straw hats now Yamato already has Conqueror's Hockey. She has an OP Devil Fruit, which we're going to need more people. She, I wouldn't say she's as strong as Zoro and, and uh, Sanji, but I feel like she's as strong as Jinbei. So you need to be at least Jinbei's level at this point to become a straw hat 
uh, in my personal opinion, because we are at the end game and the next level of fights are all going to be high risk, high reward, high intensity. Um, so and she's already proven that she can fight the strongest beast in the world for what 10 minutes five minutes i think it was like five minutes or, or maybe less than that i think it was like three because they had five more minutes they had five minutes until they reached onikashima and he he was already off and i think it took him three minutes to get back or something like that so i think she was holding him off for like, for like three minutes and that's a feat in itself you know um so uh and you know they were going blow for blow the whole time conquerors hockey back and forth um and the only reason she's more developed in Conqueror's Hockey than the other two is because they're just now figuring out that they have it. So I, I'm, I am a believer that Sanji probably does have Conqueror's Hockey. Zoro definitely has it, but it's one of those things where he probably has a lot of it. But, you know, like, uh, well, obviously not, not as much as Luffy, but his is very powerful, but he just doesn't know how to use it so there's no way of him until now now that he actually experienced it you know he's gonna be training like not like crazy but um that's for a different video um so i feel like she's at that level that we need of a character at this point in story and she's at that level of knowledge where uh we're going to need certain information and certain things explained at certain points. And she's going to know those things when it comes to it um, because of because of what she read in the journal. And she needs to figure out what happens at the end of the journal because she needs to know why he ripped out those last two pages. And I think that's like a small detail that um, people may overlook because it's like, you know, uh, well, Luffy and them can come back there later and tell her what it was. Or everybody's going to find out at the end because big news, no Morgans, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's things like that where it could, um, where people could just, like, overlook minor details like that. But that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Uh, like comment subscribe if you if you like it i definitely want to hear your thoughts on this i uh, definitely want to hear who do you think the next straw hat is going to be and you know i hope you're having a good day time night whenever you guys are watching or listening to this thank you